Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, uh, I've got this uh, project uh, that I'm fixing to get started on here. When I was a mechanic, I, I carried a flashlight like this all the time when I was working. I kept it on my belt and I had this uh, flashlight uh, leather holder that uh, that I slipped my flashlight in. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, kind of remember how mine was made, so I'm going to go by that kind of. And... Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. First, I'm just gonna cut my leather out uh, about what I think I'm gonna need. And uh, then we're gonna be putting it together and sewing it there. So this is some scrap uh, leather that I have and I'm just gonna use it. So the first thing I'm gonna do just uh, Get me a square uh, piece of leather here to start off with. Let's see here. Try to get the most width I can get out of this piece here so I can use it. I'm going to square these edges up here. I'm not going to uh, need all this, so we'll have a little bit left over here, but I'm just going to get that squared up for future use. A lot of times I'll save uh, little pieces and stuff because you never know how you know, you're know you going to use them. And uh, it could be something simple as a key ring or uh, just an insert under a piece of leather or just something there all right so here's my uh two main pieces i'll be working with and um not sure may have to uh thin this down make it a little bit more narrow i'm just gonna have to see because i don't have a pattern kind of going by doing this by ear but generally let me just show you right here so what we're looking for basically is a um, a belt loop right here so I'll be cutting some of this off. I don't need all of that. Then on the front of it, we're going to be putting a loop on it right here. And uh, that loop, of course, it'd be round and drop the flashlight in here. And uh, that's how it's going to be. So if it's going to be tighter than this, y'all. I can't. <laughs> but it just kind of gives you an idea. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I measure down about five inches and I'm going to glue uh, one side of the strap on here. I'm going to take a little bit of this, uh, white glue here and clean that off here. All right, this is just going to be just to hold it in place. That's on that's the only thing this is doing here. I'm gonna let that uh set up there for a couple of minutes there. And then I'm gonna stitch this one side here. Then I'm gonna come back and get my uh final shape for my flashlight, glue it, then stitch it. And I'll bring y'all back for other steps. I did 
couple double saddle stitches right here. Maybe y'all can see that right there. I, I came across one time and I came back across it and then back stitch another uh, two times. So whoever gets this, it's gonna it's gonna be there. So what I'm gonna do next is just cut this uh, thread there. Then I'm gonna take my lighter here. We're just gonna burn the ends. Just press them down. Just like that right there. Watch out before I go too far here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, this is gonna be a black uh, holder. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dye this piece here. This time I didn't forget to put my gloves on. I definitely don't want to get any of that black dye all over my hands. And uh, for this particular piece right here, I'm just using the Phoebans, um, just regular, like alcohol based black dye, leather dye. So it's not going to be the uh, pro dye which depending on what I'm making and stuff this is gonna just be just fine for this here just to get a real good coating on that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and coat the back side of this let it dry Then I'll be ready to uh, get that shape there, glue it down, and uh, I'll be back and I'll show you after I got it stitched there. All right, y'all. What I'm doing now? I'm just taking my flashlight, sitting in here. In position here I'm just gonna get uh, get a pretty good idea where I want this uh, to be stitched down at I'm gonna take this uh, awl here and I'm gonna make a mark make sure you get it good and tight like I need it there Alright, so I made a mark here, then a mark on the back side right here. So then I'm going to line up my uh, stitching iron right here and uh, go ahead and punch them holes. Alright y'all, uh, got it stitched up right there, now I'm going to uh, go ahead and dye all this again, the outside of it here and the edges of it, and do a little burnishing on the edges of here, and uh, I should be done, and uh, probably go ahead and put some, uh, just a coat of the uh, Neats Foot Oil on it. Go ahead and put some of this uh, leather uh, conditioner wax on it. Never know, mechanic, you know, like I say, a lot of times, you know, they, they work in some pretty harsh conditions. And uh, 
be rolling around in the floor. I changed my mind about uh, burnishing the edges. I'm so used to doing that on all pretty much everything, but this is kind of utilitarian, and uh, the edges look fine on it, so I didn't I didn't burnish the edges on it. And uh, I'm not using my other cloth for this uh, conditioner because this black I didn't want to get no black dye or anything. That's another thing, you know. Um, I rubbed it down real good with some neat foot oil before I put the uh, tan coat on there. So got it conditioned real good. And then I put that uh, let it dry, then let that tan coat on there. So it's kind of, you know, going to seal it some bit, you know, from the dye and stuff. And, uh, one thing I didn't do, I got some of my measurements on this, <laughs> and uh, I forgot to get some of my measurements on every piece that I cut. But I'm going to do that because I'm going to make some more of these, and I might, you know, modify a little bit, you know, here or there, but uh, that's what it looks like right there. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that flashlight back in there. So y'all can see it right there. That's how, that's how it's supposed to look right there. And uh, it fit up to a two, two and a half inch belt. You know, if somebody had one that wide, but uh, you know, that's it y'all. Turned out real good. Like I say, uh, kind of got ahead of myself in a few steps there and had to backtrack, you know, as far as getting a dye and stuff on it. and. Uh, like I say, I should have got all my measurements for all my pieces of leather I cut, but you know, that's, that's what happens sometime. Uh, the next one I make, I'll be sure to uh, you know, write them all down. But anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I just want to bring that there to you. It's just like just a little flashlight holder uh, I wore when I was a mechanic. And uh, so there it is. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and as always, friends, from my family to yours, Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.